Hello, Bubba Sawyer here. Uh, this is kind of a special video here. This video goes out to Models Hidden 2, or Gerald, whatever his YouTube name is. He went by Models Hidden 2, then went by uh, Leatherface Slaughter. But anyway, I told you I was going to make a video. This is the Poland. Slash Craftsman 3700. This is a Craftsman 3700 made by Poland. As you can see here, here's one just like it that I've been working on. Uh, it's a Poland version. They're the same size, just different color scheme. Poland made a lot for Craftsman, uh, uh, Rigid. Made stuff for Rigid, made stuff for Craftsman. Uh, let's see, what else did they make? Uh, Wizard. Wizard Chainsaw 360 Wizard, I think, or something like that. It was a 245A painted orange. Dayton. They made some for Dayton. Forget about that. But anyway, here's the Craftsman uh, black and gray version. They also made a red version and maybe a different color version. I think they made a blue one. They might have had a blue version. But, yeah. Uh, I would love this saw more if it was a uh, green, but I don't like it in the Craftsman colors. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good run of saw. But uh, if it was in a green color like that other one I just showed you, I'd uh, like it even more. But, uh, you know, you argue with people, you say, that's a pole, and they no, that's a Craftsman. I, you know, I've told my dad, and he's, no, that's a Craftsman. But anyway, same same deal. I know here. Bottom looks fairly good. Got a couple little uh, paint chips there. But the guy I got this saw off of said it hadn't been used in a long time. Been used a couple of times. It mostly scratched where it said in his garage and got pushed around and moved and it scraped, scraped from uh, excuse me scraped from setting up on the shelf. But, like you can tell, this saw looks like it has been around much. Because you can see back here, paint would be worn off or somebody sent and touched it. And this foam right here would be cracked and busted. The people's handled and stuff. Now the pull rope handle isn't the original. I changed it as if it had the same pull rope handle as it went on my Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 saw. So I put it on there as movie accurate, just what I was needing. One of the main reasons why I got this saw to get that down pull rope handle. I got I traded a uh, scooter for it. I might have told you earlier in this video I bought it, but I traded a scooter for it. The scooter was three hundred dollars, and uh, stuff happened to the scooter, a bunch of headache. But anyway, uh, let's just say this was a three hundred dollar saw basically. Uh, you maybe could get maybe that much. I don't know. But uh, Gerald wanted to see it. He's thinking about trading me a John Tred. Uh, how you want to, how you say John? Some people say John Tred, but some people say John Tred. I think it's pronounced John Tred. But if it if I think how it's pronounced, please let me know in the comments. This is not the original barn chain. The original the the bar chain that was on, and I'm I'm not know if it was original or not, but it was a solid gray bar. It uh, looked like an Oregon bar or something. This here is an old home light bar that's been sanded down, shined up. The bar doesn't come with it, but uh, it's, it's up for trade. It's mostly a, a wall hang or a loft hanger. It hangs right up there above my uh, uh, YouTube station here where I video. But uh, yeah, this saw, it's a good saw. Uh, oh yeah, I'll start it up for you. I forgot about that. I got the rambling on here about it. Cause say you have to choke it. Pull a choke out. This is the uh, manual oiler. It's an automatic oiler plus a manual override in case you're getting some pitchy wood and then extra uh, boost. But uh, yeah, I'll choke it for you and start up. This saw is kind of hard to get going when you first put fuel in it, but that's with any saw to get it pumped up through it. But when you got a tank of gas that's already been sitting in it, it should start up pretty, you know, pretty easily. But, uh, I'll choke it for you.
pretty good uh, his bogging a little bit there but trust me that's not from the saw that's from the blade because I know for a fact I got the, the chain maybe a little too tight and for one thing I didn't give enough time to pump oil and plus I think it's out of oil because I've always uh, you know drained my saws I put a little fuel in it just enough to start it up and let you hear it but yeah this saw ain't got nothing hidden about it model's hidden uh, this saw, it runs uh, good. I won't lie to you. I guarantee it. It's a good running saw. I've cut with it. It starts every time I want it to start. Everything's metal on this saw except the top piece. It's a hard plastic and so is the clutch cover. The rest of this saw is uh, solid steel. You might could look on eBay and find the old black uh, hard clutch cover or the, the steel clutch covers or the Air filter top, I meant. Not the clutch, cl the clutch cover, excuse me. The clutch cover. Clutch cover, clutch cover, clutch cover. Say that ten times fast. But you can find the air filter top and clutch cover off of eBay. You maybe find the metal in the, the, the light gray. And then find the polling top and spray paint it black. But, uh,. I thought about doing that, but you know, like I said, I'm going to leave this saw as is, but, uh, yeah, this is a nice saw, it's, uh, I'd hate to see it go, well, I really wouldn't hate to see it go, but, I hate to see any of my saw go, but, this one needs to go to somebody that I really cherish it, you know, I'm all of a sudden, if you look into that, maybe you want to trade, you know, let me know, we'll see about the shipping cost is, and, how much it's going to cost me, how much it's going to cost you, blah, 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 etc. But, uh, anyway, look at that muffin. Thanks for watching, guys.